All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? So today I'm going to be going over how to use the Cydia Impactor installation for uh, the Yalu uh, 112 uh, Jailbreak IPA. Uh, I just want to let you know that this actually isn't a Jailbreak IPA. What it does is it actually installs an emulation of Cydia on your phone. Uh, but for future reference, because this might be the new path of jailbreaking for when a Cydia IPA is released for compatibility with 11.2.5 iOS, which is the current public iOS, um, there is also um, files that you can install for IPAs that are for the beta versions as well for anybody that's on a developer account uh, and you wish to install things via beta you can do that with Impactor as well. This is the latest version of Impactor 0.9.43. I have the link down below in the description as well as the IPAs down in the description. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is install this Yalu 112 which is the primetime hacker uh, that figured out the exploit for iOS 10 as well as iOS 11. So there's two files I'm going to have you grab. You're going to grab this Impactor 943 and you're going to grab your Yalu 112. Once you've done that, you're going to have to extract everything in this Impactor zip file here to your desktop in a subfolder. As you can see, you have your executable, your registry files, your data files, and all that fun stuff. And you're just going to extract that to a subfolder on the desktop, as I've already done here. And this is what you're going to be doing. Once you've done that, connect your iPhone or your iDevice to your computer and be sure to open up your iTunes. Just have your iTunes running because it does help for some reason. It just likes to give a little backbone to the impactor and have it just run smoother. Yes. Alright, so now that you're connected to your device and be sure that your device is reading in your iTunes so that way you know there's no problems. Once you've done that, open up that subfolder and run the impactor. Now don't run it as administrator because you won't be able to use the drag and drop feature like I'm going to be showing you in this video. Once it boots up, you'll see that it already has the uh, iPhone or iDevice selected and you have this install city extender. This is specifically for developers. I will be making a video on that once I figure out kind of how to emulate a developer profile on a fake IP so that way you can install the Cydia extender to the emulation Cydia on your phone so that way you can actually have the real Cydia. The only problem with that is that you have to install it every seven days or every time Cydia Impactor has been updated. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop the Yalu 112. IPA file to this um, Cydia Impactor. Once you've done that, punch in your email for your iTunes ID. Now, this right here is your password is only sent to Apple. Now, you assume that this is your normal password. It's not. You're going to need an App Pacific password. So, how do you get that? Go to appleid.apple.com and log in. Once you log in, it's going to send you a prompt for an authentication code. Hit OK and open your device that you're trying, or any of your devices that you have your account linked with, and you'll get a six digit code to log in. Once you log in, you'll see if you scroll down here, you'll get to this page here. That's nice. That's an alarm clock. Scroll down here, and you'll see app specific passwords. So generate password. Click on that. Once you click on that, just type in what it's for. I'm just going to say Impactor just simply because. And create. Now you have an app specific password. So highlight that all and hit Control Copy on your keyboard. And we'll just leave that up for now. So I'll minimize this. And take that password and paste it here. This is just security protocol. And then hit Enter and OK. And on the bottom right hand corner, you will see that it's doing its thing. Now if you just punch in your regular password, it's not going to work. So this is probably where people have been running into problems to where they're, oh well, 
this is just dumb, it doesn't work. Well, it does work, it's just you were doing it wrong. So let that run, it will complete. And then on your iDevice, which I can't show you, you will see the Yalu icon installed on your um, your main screen of your phone, wherever there's a space for an app to be installed. So I'll show you that portion in a second. Okay, so here we are at the old iDevice. And if you go into your settings in general and scroll to profiles, you will see that there's a Yalu 112 profile installed underneath your email address profiles. And there's going to be a little button here. Hit trust, so that way you can actually use this application. And if all goes well, when you open up the app, I just actually tested it and it didn't work this time. I'm going to try it a little bit later. But uh, you'll see the top portion there, that's install Cydia, and the bottom is install the Tweakmo. And uh, when I go to it, it just gives me this Cydia mobile config. And that's not what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to just install another profile, and it didn't do that. So let's see what happens if I hit install Tweakmo. See, that's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to say allow. And then you install this profile install and then that's it and if you come back to your screen you see that you now have another application installed and this is pretty much the same damn thing that Cydia does um, as of yet and that's pretty much it and then you get all these applications here this is your beta profile if you want to have the ios 11 3 betas and then after that you have to pay for everything else which is just dumb so but that's how you do that so right comment and subscribe enjoy your yalu ipa uh, now you know how to install ipas through your city impactor and again the link will be down below and uh if you get your hands on a city ipa and you want me to test it just uh send it my way Alrighty, talk to you guys later and enjoy